Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to get any shiny fishing Pokemon, uh, specifically shiny Feebats in this case. Um, I'm covering Feebats in this video, uh, partially for the clickbaits, and partially because it's also like the only weird one, and I'm sure everyone would ask how to get Feebats, so, you know, two birds with one stone, if you ask me. Um, so you're going to need Pokefinder and Eon Timer. Now, Pokefinder is basically a, an RNG reporter replacement uh, made by Admiral Fish. Um, link down below for that. Uh, if you want to use RNG reporter, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it still works. It's just Pokefinder is better. Um, and Eon Timer, our good old faithful Eon Timer friend. Um, so in order to get with the fishing situation, you're going to need... Um, now, this is only, again, specifically for Feebass. You're going to need A... You gotta know where Feebass is. Um, at the end of the day, just put in the freaking work. Uh, you just gotta do it. It sucks. It'll always suck, but if you want to shiny Feebass without breeding for some reason, you gotta do it. Uh, two, you're gonna need um, the Super Rod. Uh, this is, again, specifically for Feebass. The fishing trick will, uh, fishing RNG will work with all Pokemon, uh, but for Feebass specifically, you'll want the Super Rod. Um, otherwise, just find a place to fish and... Let's get uh, let's get on with it. So you're gonna click Wild Pokemon here. And now the great thing about Pokefinder is um, it's got a little profile manager where all of your uh, games exist. So I'm gonna be doing Ruby version. This is actually the same Ruby version from my Trainer ID tutorial. So if you have um, that same Trainer ID, you'll be able to get the same shiny Feebas as I'm going to show you how to get. So for method, leave it at H1. Um, for S. Don't change your route because you'll, you'll see in a second. For encounter, change it to Super Rod for Feebas or whatever rod you're using on a different Pokemon. And then, because the location always snaps to do for a town. I think it's because it's technically like the. I, I think it's like the first fishable location or something. I don't know why he, he did it that way, but that's where it'll snap to. Um, Feebas is Route 119, so we're going to go there. And beak. Now, for Pokemon, if you notice, Feebas doesn't show up, but just click Carvana and, uh, you know, bear with me. Um, you're going to need to leave your starting frame, max results, those are both fine. Trainer ID and secret ID, uh, you need to know both if you want a shiny. Yeah. For your seed, uh, if it's emerald version you're doing this on, leave it blank. If it's um, ruby and sapphire, type 5A0. Um, I'm surprised that's not like a, uh, in the profile manager or whatever. Anyway. Um, and then, since we're going for a shiny, hit shiny only and generate. Now, there's a few things to note. You'll notice uh, different encounter slots. Um, Carvana is all of them, so it doesn't matter uh, which encounter slot you get. There's 0, 1, and 2. Um, other routes, so if we went to, like, Route 122, I bet you there'd be multiple Pokemon. So as you can see, encounter slot for Sharpedo is 0, but Wilmer is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, but Feebas is not... He Feebas shares an encounter slot with Carvana, uh, basically. So... This is the earliest frame. This is the one we're going to be aiming for. So you're going to type that into your Eon Timer. So in Eon Timer, um, calibration set it to zero, pre-timer set to 5,000, and your target frame, you should set it to 7657 uh, if that is your shiny frame. You might have a different shiny frame than I do. So shiny frame, again, it's based on your trainer ID and secret ID. If yours is not the same as mine, your shiny frame will be different. Um, so, uh, uh, before we get into the game, just a little further, I'm going to explain sort of how Feebas is generated. Um, basically, Feebas uh, is generated with a v uh, blah, 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 a v blank call um, with... Um, um, and so, every time you go for to pull the Pokemon up, it will randomly decide a 50-50 chance, assuming you only have Carvana as your only Pokemon because you're using a Super Rod. You basically have a 50-50 chance whether it is a Feebas or not, okay? And so, um, you might end up going through a lot of shiny Carvanas before you get to Feebas. And so, what you're going to have to be doing with the Feebas uh, when you're calculating is you pull up the Pokemon, and if it's a Carvana, you uncheck shiny only, right? We're going to do... We'll set it to like 7600 and our upper frame to 7700, right? And you hit generate and then you scroll to your shiny Pokemon. Now these are all for Carvana. Carvana will always have these stats, these levels, these genders, etc. So when you pull up a Carvana, you can use it to deduce which frame you hit. So I'll, again, I'll be showing that. 
And when you pull up a Phoebus, what you're going to have to do is a stat calc. You'll either have the stat calc here, or uh, what the VBlank calls do is that's what these other method H1 and H2s are. You'll still have the same shiny frames on these methods, but if you notice the stats change here. So my Phoebus probably has, uh, maybe has these stats or so. Um, to my knowledge. So you'll have to, you know, check the stats here. If your Feebas' stats don't probably show up here. Um, and the natures will also be the same for Feebas. But Feebas' level range is different. So Feebas doesn't have the same levels as Carvana. And, uh, no, that's it. So it won't have the same levels as Carvana. So you can't use that. You'll have to do stats and you'll have to do natures. Um, and then it's also good to check to make sure your Feebas wasn't on a different method H1 or H2. And uh, with that said, let's get into the game. Okay, so in your game, you're going to be want to save uh, in front of your Feebas spot or wherever you want to fish. You're going to start Eon Timer, and when the first clock, which is the 5,000 seconds, hits zero, you're going to boot up the game and go through it as fast as possible. Remember, for Ruby and Sapphire, your internal battery needs to be dead. Once you load up in the spot you're going to fish, you're going to cast a line, and you're going to go through the fishing stuff until it says a Pokemon's on the hook. Now, here, uh, all you do is wait until the Pokemon uh, until the timer runs down and then you hit A to reel on the rod so I'll cut to that. So my timer's almost up and uh, you just hit A as this hits zero. Uh, the battle's gonna start and then you're gonna get a Pokemon. So here I've got a uh, Carvana. Um, uh, so you can do some preemptive searching when once you find the Pokemon. Uh, as you can see it's a male, it's level 36. So you can open Poke Finder and start kind of scoping that out. Um, but you need to catch it to analyze it further. Okay, so I've caught it, and as you can see, it's level 36 with the hasty nature. So we're going to use those two pieces of information. Oh, and it's the male gender that's helpful as well. We're going to use these pieces of info to figure out which one we caught in uh, PokeFinder. Okay, so we're in uh, PokeFinder. Uh, what we're going to have to do here is um, take a look through the screen to figure out like what we've got. So let's start by looking for a hasty nature you can use the filters but you'll probably not be more than 50 or so frames off so you probably don't have to um, so our uh, so we found the uh, first hasty nature here but it's level 33 so that's not the one we're looking for we found one right before it but that's level 28 Carvana so that's still not what we're looking for um, here I found a level 36 uh, oh you have to set the gender ratio as well if you want that info to be accurate um, so it would be a male, so this is the one we found probably, so it looks like I hit frame 7642. So what you're going to do is open Eon Timer back up, and in the frame hitbox, type the frame that you hit, uh, if you did not hit your frame first try, and then hit the update button, and you'll get a little calibration number. So all that's left to do is uh, give it another go. Um, there isn't really much more you can do besides the same thing over and over again. Um, you're just going to have to catch the Pokemon, uh, find where it was in the reporter, and do your adjustments. Now, if, again, if you find a Feebas, you can't use its gen. Excuse me, you can't use its gender uh, and level ratings probably, um, like Carvana's. So what you're going to have to do is use like a Cerebi stat calc to determine which stats you get for the Feebas to figure out how far away you are, because its level range and all that is different from. Carvana's. Okay, so I'm in the last few seconds of the timer, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, so this is really good. I got my shiny Carvana at level 27. Actually, super cool shiny. Uh, I've never, I'd never seen it before. I caught this, so that's really cool. Um, so this means your calibration is fine, and you'll eventually get your Pokemon this way. So all you have to do, especially if you just see a shiny Carvana like this. Um, you can just continue to retry until eventually you'll just randomly get the Feebas when the game decides to give a Feebas. So that's really cool. So um, this is going to be the next attempt since I hit uh, Shiny Carvana. I'm going to be aiming for the actual Feebas now. Um, so that is... Uh, <laughs> That's all you can do at that point. Once, for Feebas specifically, once you've gotten the shiny Carvana, that means you're calibrated enough, and all you have to do is just go for several attempts. I mean, that's it. And um, it shouldn't be too hard to get uh, once you're calibrated, and uh, it'll be a pretty nice reward to get a wild shiny Feebas. Um, and so, I don't have much more explaining to do, so uh, what I'm going to do is show the live reaction to me 
and my girlfriend getting the feebas. And if you've got any questions or anything, leave them down below. I hope this was uh, an informative and helpful guide. Um, and leave suggestions uh, in terms of feedback for what I could have done better or um, different types of content you'd be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. There we go. Feebas. Pain in the ass to do, but it'll make a good video.